another DIY science experiment session with me, Khushi Gupta. So, let's get started. You all must have seen the sealed containers or the leak-proof containers in your houses. Have you ever wondered why the sealed, uh, why we need sealed containers for the objects in our refrigerator or something like that? What is the basic science behind the sealing and the leak-proof containers? Let's perform a simple activity to understand what is actually behind the sealing and the leak-proof things. So, the materials required for the experiment are one ziplock bag with the water filled in it and some sharp pens or pencils whatever you want to take you can take it now fill the ziplock bag with water and close it i have already done it hold up the ziplock bag and poke it with the sharp end of the pen push the pen all the way through the bag you can see in the video See how many pens or pencil you can stab into the bag before it starts to leak. It's not leaking at all. Can you see this? This becomes leak proof. Why does that happen? When we put the pencil into the bag, the plastic polymers moved apart and then they created a hole. Right? Once the pencil gone through the bag, the uh, polymers, the plastic polymers uh, added up against the pencil and they create a temporary seal around the pencil with the help of friction. To understand this and to make it more clear, clear, let's watch a PPT. Leak proof bag. What is the science behind it? A flexible plastic is made of polymer chains. The polymers have many molecules inside of them. When the pencil goes through the bag, the molecules in the polymer chains surround the pencil, sealing it up tightly and preventing leaks. I hope you are cleared with the principles or the basic science behind this. Do perform this activity at your home and do share your videos with us. Bye bye to